Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Someone commented the other day saying, please can you do a morning routine? And I thought, well, it's about time. We've not done one in a while. So this is our routine with four piggies. And it's a bit of a taking it slow, easy going weekend routine. But everything I'm doing here is what I would normally do with the piggies on a normal working day or any other day. The only difference is I've got a bit more time today and I also want to tack on some tidying up onto the end of this routine because the room is in a bit of a state and I'm also thinking about doing a bit of a rearrange in this room so stay tuned for that. So it is eight o'clock now and first thing I do in the morning is come in the piggy room, check on everyone, see how they're all doing and they're usually still snoozing away, not much activity going on at all. They're all enjoying a bit of a lie-in and this morning is the same as any other. And looking out the window it's such a lovely morning out there, it's so crisp and cool and we've even had a bit of frost on the grass but the sun is out a lovely sunny winter day now we're in November these two have finally decided to get up and have some hay for breakfast after Nacho was being a very sleepy boy under his hammock hey Roxy what are you doing meanwhile these two sleepy sausages are not getting up for anyone <laughs> yes there is actually two piggies in here oh sorry Kelly Nacho's going to say hello <laughs> Are you gonna come out and join us? Oh, a little half yawn. There we go. We are officially all awake. So the very first job of the day is to give Phoebe her medicine. She is on antibiotics and painkillers at the moment for her problems that she's having with her bladder. Are you waiting for your medicine, darling? Unfortunately for me, she absolutely loves the medicine, which makes my job a bit easier. Good girl. Such a good girl. Our second job of the day, which is the main thing I do in the morning for the piggies, is cleaning out their cage, getting rid of all of these poops which are absolutely everywhere. And at the moment, I do tend to change out their litter tray in the morning as well. And this litter tray is where they do most of their peeing and pooping. However, there is lots of stray poops around the cage as well. And the litter tray does need cleaning every single day without fail. So I just roll up the old bedding, disinfect the bottom of the box, put down new newspaper and then pop in some fresh hay for them and for those of you who are wondering yes they do eat the hay which they are also in here pooing and peeing on however they do really like to have loose hay I don't believe that they actually eat the soiled hay and I don't think it's unhygienic for them because I do change it every single day and I also top up the hay several times throughout the day I've used a litter tray like this for a long time and it really does help with cleaning up after them and keeping the cage nice and new and fresh looking. And I'll go ahead and pop a video down in the description and up in the cards now about litter training your piggies. So hopefully that one will come in useful for anyone who wants some more tips on managing their mess. Roxy is straight in and straight eating that fresh hay. <laughs> you darling. With all those old pads and beds out of the way and some washing for me to do, I'm gonna go ahead and put new ones in now. And over this side of the cage, let's have a hammock on here. Phoebe's just going around inspecting everything that I'm doing, making sure it's up to standard. Cozy. I think it feels like a couch day. I'm gonna pop this in over here for you. Yes, very nice. This is their pellet bowl and water dish. I've been doing the water bottles in the cage at night, but I do also like to give them a water bowl just to encourage them to drink more and stay hydrated. So because it's a bowl, this needs changing every morning, every night, and sometimes in between as well. What's going on? Have I moved something and it's in your way? You're getting stroppy. One thing I'm trying to be careful about with the piggies is how much pellets I feed them. So it's really easy to overfeed your guinea pigs pellets. So they will eat them and eat them, especially if they like the taste of them. So I've been giving the herd two small handfuls like this and trying to limit it to no more if they eat it all. That's why they've been coming and checking on the pellet bowl because they are ready for some, bless them. We're all digging in straight away. We've definitely been waiting for those pellets. Nacho, don't try and steal it out of 
Phoebe's mouth, please. And I feed the Science Selective Grain Free Pellets, which are thought to be one of the healthiest ones. And in general, you should be feeding your guinea pigs a specially formulated guinea pig pellet that doesn't look like muesli. It just looks like all of the bits are the same, so they can't get picky over it. It should also have added vitamin C in there. And the reason behind feeding less pellets is because they are not as fiber rich as hay and hay should make up 80 if not 90 percent of our guinea pigs diet it really is the most important thing you feed them and we should always encourage them to eat as much good quality hay as possible with the cage all cleaned out and fresh hay and pellets on the go the piggies will happily be tucking into this for a while so i'm going to take the opportunity to wash some of their dirty beds and pads and on my way back upstairs i'm going to get them some cucumber it's a bit of a treat and also because phoebe's been having bladder problems lately i want her to stay nice and hydrated and cucumber is really great for that it's also low in calcium so great for bladder piggies <laughs> snatchy Before getting on with some tidying, there's one more piggy job and that is weighing Phoebe. So because I'm monitoring her health, I am weighing her every single day and I'm writing it all down, monitoring whether it goes up or down. And we've been gradually increasing, which is great for her. It means that she's feeling a little bit better. She's able to take on a bit more food and put some weight back on from when she was poorly and she did drop in weight. But she's doing really well at the moment. And thank you to those of you who've asked how she's getting on. Post cucumber and after a big breakfast the piggies are back to snoozing and mid-morning is kind of their most chill time of day as well so they'll be just mooching around snoozing in their various beds for a good few hours and I'm gonna take this opportunity to do some much needed cleaning in this room. Believe it or not I do hoover most days but today I'm really gonna get behind the cage and do it all properly because I want to switch the cage and the desk around just to play about with the layout of the room and see how it works for me. What do we think of that then, Roxy? Is it different? Does Phoebe approves? Whew, well, that was hard work, especially not really doing it in a sensible order and still having all the wires connected and everything. I kind of like it, actually. It is going to solve a problem I was having, which was glare onto my PC screen with it being opposite the window. And the guinea pigs have the nice view out of the window now, so hopefully they are going to be pleased about that. Please ignore the awful amount of mess on the windowsill. I still have a lot of sorting out to do as well. <laughs> Let's not focus on that though. <laughs> this end of the room looks very nice and I know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing a glimpse into our morning routine and everything that the piggies get up to in the morning. Let us know how your own routine compares and let me know what you think of the layout of the room. As many of you know, we have recently moved home and there's lots of big changes coming up. So if you want to learn more about the plans for this room and the final piggy room and also get a nice reminder of what summer was like, then I'll put up this video for you to watch next. As ever, thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon. Bye bye!